Hey, it's Kevin Ochoa, and this is a quick version of the automation linking to multiple parameters video. Okay, so here I have an FPC. And some pads. And what I want to do is I'm going to add a Pro-Q3 to both of them. And then I'm going to link the frequency parameters of both of them together. So I'm going to uh, right click on create automation clip. And now I have a automation clip for one of the parameters. Now, if I double click here, I can actually add multiple target links. So I'm going to press plus right here. And it's going to ask me if I wanted to link uh, different uh, parameters together. I'm going to say, okay, I do. And then I'm going to go to the other Pro-Q3. And then I'm going to move the frequency parameter on this one. And then when I go back to the automation editor, boom, it's there. So I have the old Vox pad and then I have the HQ rocket right there. So now when I move them both, they're going to fade in. So I'm going to add another parameter here, another automation to a Valhalla room. I'm going to add the Valhalla room and then I'm going to automate the mix. So I'm going to press plus right here, accept it, automate the mix. And I also want to automate the decay. However, the decay, I want it to be a little bit different. So instead of it going from zero to hundred, I want it to go to a certain percentage. So I'm going to move the decay parameter and then I'm going to go to the a multi link to controllers, right click on it, and then select a link to controller. And now I'm going to change the input mapping formula to be at a smaller increment. I said smaller. And then I'm going to move it to 15%. And then press enter, accept, and then boom, we should have a pretty cool effect now. And there you go. That's how we can automate multiple different parameters with a single automation clip. All right. To catch you guys on the next one.